A few weeks before the NATO summit, streamers are flying in the streets of Chicago. On the 20th and 21st of May, Chicago is going to be at the centre of attention. More than 60 heads of state and government will meet to discuss crucial matters of security and stability in the Euro-Atlantic area. And so, the leaders of the member nations of the organisation created by the 1949 Washington Treaty will meet in the capital of Illinois this time. There was a good reason for this choice. The decision was made by the American president, Barack Obama, who wanted this event to take place in the city he grew up in. He wanted to demonstrate uh, how much the United States valued NATO, how committed we were to the future of NATO, uh, and how much it was integrated into his plans for the future of American foreign policy. Um, and so he decided that we would be hosting the summit, and he decided to do it in his hometown, a place that's very personal uh, and, of course, special to him. And it also represents, I think, the diversity of the United States, a diversity that, frankly, represents many of the different NATO member states who have very significant diaspora populations here in Chicago. If there is one place in the United States where Europeans can feel at home, it's Chicago. Its population of over 2.6 million includes immigrants from Romania, Poland, Greece, Turkey, Portugal and Italy, as well as other NATO nation diasporas, a melting pot which enriches the culture, the streets and the architecture of the city. Near one of Donald Trump's famous towers, there are industrial constructions from the 19th century, alongside European-style buildings. The legendary jazz music of Chicago draws on mixed African-American sources and European influences. French and Italian styles of cooking mingle with American flavours, as a result of which Chicago is famous worldwide for its culinary talents. Chicago appeals to Americans just as much as Europeans. It therefore has plenty to attract and please an international public. As the third largest city in the United States and a a very important global destination, Chicago is is a, is a wonderful spot for NATO to convene such an important meeting. Chicago um, has the all the other things that a great global destination offers. So great hotel capacity with 34,000 rooms downtown, a great culturally deep community with great arts and cultural institutions. Another of the city's assets is McCormick Place, where the NATO summit will be held. This symbolic place, created by the founder of the legendary Chicago Tribune, was built in 1960 and destroyed by fire in 1967. The McCormick Center was then rebuilt to a completely different design. Four kilometers from Chicago city center, near Lake Michigan, the McCormick Center is vast. It includes more than 250,000 meters squared of exhibition space. International conferences and meetings have been held there regularly for years and it is well known as the largest convention center in the United States, welcoming three million visitors every year. In a few weeks, it will be taking on the NATO colors. But for the moment, no major works are planned in the meeting or exhibition rooms as the infrastructures are already in place. However, the streets around the buildings will be renovated and some will be repaved. The security of the surrounding area is being handled by the Secret Services and the Chicago Police, who are not disclosing any details. The McCormick Place staff will deal with the logistics during the summit. We will be serving over 19,400 meals, not just to the delegates themselves and to the staff that will be here for NATO, but also to the international press that's also assembled here to cover this event. We will have 24-hour service providing breakfast, lunch and dinner. A financial centre with a powerful industrial sector, the city is developing from year to year. The host committee is planning numerous culinary, sport and cultural events to show visitors the diversity of the city during the NATO summit. They expect long-term financial effects. We anticipate that there will be a significant number of temporary jobs created from this event and that's what we're working with, um, the company that we're working with on the economic impact statement. We know that there will be hundreds of temporary jobs created and we want to see what that really translates to long term. As, as you know, if you live in a, in a NATO partner country, you don't know anything about Chicago, we won't know for several years if there's a business there that wants to come here and, and, and set up a new shop. Al Capone made the city notorious, but today it is clear that the gangster's days are over and Chicago is rich in resources, thanks in particular to the transatlantic links. 
On the 20th and 21st of May, the Windy City, as it is known, will have the wind in its sails. This is a NATO Channel report.